Hey guys, it's Ami and Moore. Today I'm gonna show you how to crochet this cute Chihuahua dog, Ami Groomy. I named him Oscar after a friend's suggestion, but you can name him or her whatever you want. He's also the perfect size for carrying around everywhere. Right now I'm trying to teach him fetch, but I think it's going to take a little bit more practice. Alright, what are we waiting for? Let's get started! Here are the materials you'll need. For round one, you are going to do six single crochet stitch into the magic ring. So this is one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we are going to close our magic ring. I'm going to use a stitch marker and I like to use a bobby pin to mark the end of our round. Now for round two, we are going to do two in each stitch all the way around. So you should have two, 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 and at the end, you should have 12 single crochet stitches. Okay, now that's one and two, and three and four, five and six, seven and eight, nine and ten and eleven and twelve okay so now you should have 12 stitches all the way around now for round three our pattern is going to be two single crochet stitch one single crochet stitch two one two one and continue to repeat the pattern all the way around you should have 18 single crochet stitches at the end. So that's one, and into the same stitch, that's two. And then just one, right here. And then two again, one and two, and then just one. And continue to repeat the pattern all the way around, and you should have 18 single crochet stitches at the end. Okay, and here's our last set, two here, and then just one right here. Now for round four, our pattern is two, one, one, two, one, one, and repeat the pattern all the way around, and you'll have 24 single crochet stitches. So that's one and two, and then just one and one. Okay, repeat the pattern again. One and two, and one and one, and repeat the pattern all the way around. For round five, our pattern is going to be two, one, 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 two, one, 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 and continue to repeat the pattern all the way around and you will have 30 single crochet stitches. So we're gonna have one and two. And then just one, one, and one. Repeat the pattern again, two, one, and two. And then just one, one, and one. Okay, repeat the pattern all the way around. Now for round six, our pattern is going to be two, and then in the next four, just one. Two, and then in the next four, just one, and continue to repeat the pattern all the way around, and you'll have 36 single crochet stitches. So that's one, and in the same stitch, two. And then in the next four, just one. So that's one, two, three, and four. Okay, repeat the pattern again. One 
and two, and one, two, three, four. Continue to repeat the pattern all the way around. You'll have 36 single crochet stitches at the end. Now for round seven, we are going to do an increase in our first three stitches. So that's two, two, two. And in our next 15, we are just going to do one and then we're going to repeat the pattern again all the way around. So, okay, in our first three, that's one and two. Okay, and next one, one and two. Third one, one and two. Okay, now in our next 15, just one. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, thirteen. 14 and 15. Okay, we're going to repeat the pattern again. So in our next three, just two, two, two. One and two. One and two. Okay, and then our last third one, one and two. Okay, now for the rest of the stitches, which should be 15 all the way to our end, it's just going to be one single crochet stitch. So just go ahead and just do one all the way to the very end of our stitch. Okay, now we should have 42 single crochet stitches all the way around. Now for rounds 8 through 14, we are just going to stay at 42 single crochet stitches. So it's just one single crochet stitch and each stitch all the way around. Now after round 14, this is how your head should look like. And if we count, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 rounds. For round 15, we are going to start decreasing. So our pattern is a decrease here. In our next five stitches, we're just going to do one single crochet stitch. And then you're just going to repeat the pattern all the way around. And you should have 36 single crochet stitches at the end. So we're going to do a decrease here. Okay, you're going to go to the next stitch, yarn over. You should have three loops, yarn over, come back out. In our next five, just one single crochet stitch. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, you're gonna repeat the pattern again, do a decrease right here. And in our next five, just one. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, you're going to repeat the pattern again all the way around. Now for round 16, our pattern is going to be a decrease here. And then in our next four, just one single crochet stitch. Repeat the pattern all the way around and you'll have 30 single crochet stitches. So we're going to do a decrease here. And then just one, two, three and four and repeat the pattern all the way around for round 17 our pattern is going to be a decrease and in our next three just one single crochet stitch repeat the pattern all the way around and you'll have 24 single crochet stitches okay it's going to be a decrease here and then one two and three Okay, repeat the pattern again, a decrease here, and then one, two, and three, and continue to repeat the pattern all the way around. For round 18, our pattern is, is a decrease, single crochet, single crochet stitch. Repeat all the way around, and you'll have 18 single crochet stitches. So here's a decrease, 
and then just one and one. Okay, repeat the pattern again, a decrease, and then just one and one. Continue to repeat the pattern all the way around. And for round 19, our pattern is going to be a decrease. And then in our next four stitches, just one. And then repeat the pattern all the way around. And you should have 15 single crochet stitches at the end. So here we're going to do a decrease. And then just one, two, three, and four. Okay, repeat the pattern again, decrease. And then just one, two, three, and four. Repeat for one last time. It's decrease and then one, two, three, and four. Okay, and you want to cut off a long tail so you can clip off and fasten off. And here is our head completed. Now for the body, you are going to repeat rounds one through five exactly the same as the head. So go ahead and work up your rounds. Now for round six, our pattern is going to be an increase here too. And then in the next 14, just one and repeat the pattern one more time all the way around and you should have 32 single crochet stitches. So we're going to do two here. So that's one and two. And then the next 14, just one. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Repeat the pattern one more time. That's one here and two in the same stitch and then for the rest of the stitches we are just going to do one all the way around now for round seven we are just going to stay at 32 single crochet stitches so it's just one crochet stitch in each stitch all the way around now for round eight we are first going to increase in the next four stitches so that's one and two. Okay. One and two. One and two. And our last four stitch, one and two. Okay, now we are going to do single crochet stitch in the rest of the stitches all the way around. So just one in each stitch all the way around. So go ahead and work up your stitches. Now for rounds 9 through 10, we are just going to stay at 36 single crochet stitches. So it's just one in each stitch all the way around. So go ahead and work up your stitches. For round 11, we are going to do single crochet in our next 13. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. And then we are going to do a decrease single crochet stitch. Okay, decrease single crochet stitch. Then we're going to do a decrease and then a single crochet stitch. One more time, decrease, and a single crochet stitch. Okay, and then we are going to do 14 single crochet stitches. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. 11, 12, 13, and 14. Okay, now we should have 33 single crochet stitches. And now for rounds 12 through 15, we want to stay at 33. 
So it's just one in each stitch all around. So go ahead and work up your rounds until round 15. Now for round 16, we are going to decrease single crochet three times first. So let's go ahead and work up our stitches. Do a decrease here. And then a single crochet stitch. Decrease again. Single crochet stitch. Decrease one last time and a single crochet stitch. Okay, now for the rest of the round, which is 24 single crochet stitches, we are just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So go ahead and work up your stitches. Now for round 17, we are just going to stay at 30 single crochet stitches. So we're just going to do one in each stitch all the way around. So go ahead and work up your stitches. For round 18, we are going to decrease three times and then single crochet the rest of the stitches all the way around. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and decrease one, two and three and in the rest of the 20 24 stitches we are just going to do single crochet all the way around so go ahead and work up your stitches for round 19 we are just going to stay at 27 st um, stitches so we're just going to go ahead and single crochet stitch all the way around for round 20, our pattern is going to be a decrease and then in our next seven, we are just going to do one and repeat the pattern all the way around. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and do a decrease right here. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Repeat the pattern again. We are going to do a decrease. And then in the next seven, just one single crochet stitch. Okay, and repeat the pattern all the way around. For round 21, our pattern is going to be a decrease and then single crochet, single crochet. Repeat the pattern all the way around and you'll have 18 single crochet stitches. So we're going to do a decrease. And then just one and two. Okay, repeat the pattern again, decrease. And then one and two. Okay, repeat the pattern all the way around. Okay, so this is how your shape should look like so far. And then you want to start stuffing at this point. So go ahead and grab some stuffing. And then we are just going to go ahead and stuff our chihuahua. Now for round 22, our pattern is just going to be a decrease, single crochet, decrease, single crochet stitch. Repeat the pattern all the way around and you should have 12 single crochet stitches. So here's a decrease and a single crochet stitch. A decrease and a single crochet stitch and then repeat the pattern all the way around. And now in our very last round, we are just going to decrease all the way around and you should have six single crochet stitches at the end. Okay, once I've finished stuffing, I'm going to go ahead and get a yarn needle and I'm going to close up this stitch right here. For the tail, I am going to do four single crochet stitches into the magic ring. That's one, two, three, and four. Okay, I'm going to close it shut. And then here, I'm going to do an increase here for round two. I'm going to do two here, one and two. And in my next three stitches, I'm just going to do one. So that's one, two, three. And then next one, round three, it's two and then one in each stitch all around and you should have six single crochet stitches. 
So that's one and two. And then just one and two and three and four. And for round four to eight, we just want to stay at six single crochet stitches. So it's just going to be one in each stitch all the way around. So go ahead and work up your stitches. And here is our tail completed. Now for the haunch for round one, we are going to do six single crochet stitch into the magic ring. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. We can go ahead and close our circle and put in our stitch marker. Now you want to do two in each stitch all the way around. So you'll have 12 single crochet stitches at the end. Okay, so that's going to be one and two. Okay, and here one and two. Go ahead and repeat it all the way around. Now for round three, our pattern is two, one, two, one. Repeat all the way around and you'll have 18 single crochet stitches at the end. So that was two there and just one. Okay, repeat the pattern all the way around. Now for round four, our pattern is going to be two here in our next eight, just one, two, and then next eight, just one. And you should have 20 single crochet stitches at the end. So that's one and two, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, repeat the pattern again, two here, and then in the rest of the stitches, just one. So go ahead and work up your stitches. Now for round five, we are just going to stay at 20. So it's just one in each stitch all the way around. So go ahead and work up your stitches. For round six, our pattern is going to be a decrease. And then in our next eight, single crochet stitch, decrease. And in our next eight, just one single crochet stitch. So let's go ahead and do a decrease here. And then in our next eight, just one. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then repeat the pattern again. You're going to do a decrease. And then in the rest of the stitches, just one. Okay, so go ahead and finish up your stitches. And then we'll want to go ahead and fasten off. And this is your hunch completed and you'll want to make two. For the hind leg, you are going to do six single crochet stitch into the magic ring. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. You're going to close the ring and use a stitch marker. Okay, for round two, you are going to do two in each stitch all the way around. So you should have 12 single crochet stitches at the end. So that's one and two. Okay, and repeat two in each stitch all the way around. Now for round three, we are just going to do one in each stitch all the way around. And so you should still have 12 single crochet stitches at the end. So go ahead and work up your stitches. For round four, we are going to decrease three times and then you're going to do single crochet in the next six. So that's one decrease right here. Our second decrease and then our third decrease. And then it's just one, two, three, four five and six. Now for round five, we are going to do one single crochet stitch and then we're going to do a decrease. 
Okay, and then in our next six single crochet stitch, we're just going to do one. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, now for round six, our pattern is going to be a decrease, single crochet, single crochet, decrease, single crochet, single crochet. And at the end, we should have six single crochet stitches. So here's a decrease, and then one and one. You can repeat the pattern again, decrease, and then just one and one. Okay, now for round seven through 10, we are just going to stay at six single crochet stitches. So it's just one in each stitch all the way around. So go ahead and work up your stitches. Now this is how your hind leg should look like so far. You'll just want to go ahead and stuff, stuff it at the end. And you'll want to stuff it firmly. You can use your fingers and you can also use your crochet hook to stuff it in. Okay, so this part should come out right here. And then this part should go upward. Okay, so you want to make two of the hind legs. For the front leg, you're going to repeat rounds 1 through 10 for the hind leg, but then we're going to continue on rounds 11 through 14. We're going to stay at 6 single crochet stitches. So go ahead and work up your rounds 11 through 14, and you're also going to stuff as you keep going. Okay, remember to keep stuffing firmly. Okay, so I did my 14 rounds and so I'm going to go ahead and finish stuffing it. And now for round 15, I'm going to do single crochet stitch in my next two stitches. So that's one and two. And in my next four stitches, I'm going to do half double crochet stitch. So that's one, two, three, and four. Half double crochet stitches. And now for my very last round 16, I'm going to do single crochet stitch in my next two. So that's one and two. And then I'm going to do an increase, half double crochet increase in my next three. So that's one and two, one and two, one and two, and then I'm going to do one single crochet stitch in my very last one. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and cut a long tail. Okay, and then here is my leg, front leg completed. Now for the ear with brown yarn, you are going to go ahead and make a slip knot. And then you're going to chain six. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we are going to do a um, single crochet stitch across. So we're going to go into the second chain from the hook and then just do one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, you're going to chain one and turn. For row two, we are just going to do one in each stitch across, so you should have five at the end. So that's three, four, and five. Okay, chain one and turn. Now for row three, we are going to increase. So we're going to do two here in our next stitch. One and two. And then just one in the rest of the stitches. So one, two, three, and four. Okay, we're gonna chain one and turn. 
and we just want to stay at six single crochet stitches so it's just one in each stitch across okay so go ahead and work up your stitches now we are going to chain one and turn and for row five we just want to stay at five single crochet stitches so we're just going to skip this first one right here and go into our second single crochet stitch and that's just going to be one two three four and five chain one and turn for row six through eight we just want to stay at five so just one in each stitch across so just go ahead and work up your stitches okay now for row nine we're going to chain one and turn and we're going to skip this first single crochet stitch and then we're just going to do one two three and four okay chain one and turn we're going to skip the very first single crochet stitch and just do one two and three and chain one and turn and for row 11 we're going to skip the first stitch and just do two one and my second single crochet stitch okay so now i'm going to go ahead and cut a long tail okay after you made the brown part of the year you want to repeat the same exact pattern but for the pink and then when you have both parts made, you are going to lay them on top of each other. Then we are going to get our brown yarn, make, and we are going to go ahead and make a slip knot. Okay, and when they are stacked, okay, this is the bottom of the ear. And then we want to go ahead and do a single crochet border through both layers. So now I'm going to go into the part where the straight line is at the very edge. I'm going to go ahead and do a single crochet stitch. Okay, and then I want to go all the way around. So go ahead and we are just going to continue all the way around. Okay, and basically you just want to go all the way around until you get to the end of this edge back up here. Okay, and then you'll want to cut off the long tail so we can sew it. And here is our ear completed. Now for the snout with Aran or cream colored yarn, you are going to go ahead and make a slip knot. And then we are going to chain five. That's one, two, three, four, and five. And then we are going to do four single crochet stitch this way. We are going to do one, two, three, and four. And now we're going to turn around and we are on the other side of the chain. We're going to also do four single crochet stitch. So that's one, two, three, and four. And we just completed our first round of the stitch and that are the first round with eight stitches. So we're, I'm going to go ahead and put this to mark the end of my round right here. Now for round two, my pattern is I'm going to increase two times here. So two and two. And then I'm going to do single crochet stitch, single crochet stitch, increase, increase, and then one and one. Okay, so let's go ahead and work up my stitches here. So I'm going to do two here, one and two. And then in my next stitch, I'm going to do one and two. And then just one and one. Repeat the pattern again. One and two to the same stitch. Okay, next stitch I'm going to do one and two into the same stitch. The next stitch is just one and one. One 
and one. Okay, so that's my round two completed. Now for round three, I'm going to increase three times. So increase, increase, increase. And then in the next three, it's just one, one, one. And then I'm gonna repeat the pattern again. Okay, so here I'm going to do one and two, and then one and two, and then one and two. My next three, just one. One, two, and three. Okay, repeat the pattern again. One and two. Then next stitch, one and two. Okay, next stitch, one and two. And then my three remaining stitches, just one each. So that's one, two, and three. Round four, I am going to go ahead and switch to my brown yarn. Okay, so here is my brown yarn. Okay, I'm going to prepare it by making a slip knot. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and do a single crochet stitch right here. Okay, but I'm actually going to move my stitch marker as well. Okay, now for this round four, I'm just going to stay at 18 single crochet stitches. So it's just one single crochet stitch all the way around. So go ahead and work up your stitches. Okay, now for Round five, my pattern is going to be a increase here and then in the next eight single crochet stitch increase and then in the next eight single crochet stitch. So I'm going to do two here, one and in the same stitch, two. And then just one, two, three, four, five, six seven and eight. Repeat the pattern again. I'm going to do two here, one and two, and then in the next eight, just one. One, two, three. And then for round six through eight, I'm just going to stay at 20 single crochet stitches. So it's just one single crochet stitch in each stitch all the way around. So go ahead and work up your stitches. So this is how it should look like after round eight. Now for um, round nine, we are only going to do half double crochet stitch, but only in the next 10 stitch. So yarn over, insert hook, yarn over, come back out, yarn over, come out through all three. So that's one and two and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then we are just going to slip stitch to fasten off. And we are going to cut a long tail. Okay, and here is our snout completed. We're ready to assemble our chihuahua.
our finished chihuahua me groomy hope you enjoyed making him be sure to like and subscribe and i will catch you next time bye for now